Hello guys, we're back at it again on the Gaming Stealth channel with another upload. Grand Theft Auto 6 hasn't even been officially announced by Rockstar Games yet, but it's already shaping up to be the most anticipated next generation game launch to date. Despite the fact that there's almost no chance it'll launch alongside next gen consoles later this year, recent rumors however claim that Sony Interactive Entertainment is attempting to secure GTA 6 as a timed exclusive for the upcoming PlayStation 5 to boost sales for the next gen console which will be devastating for Microsoft's Xbox Series X. The details of this alleged Sony Rockstar partnership are extremely suspicious, which leads Inverse to believe these specific rumors are baseless. But there's every reason to believe that an exclusive release of GTA 6 on the PS5 is possible based on past GTA launches. YouTuber Foxy UK Games claimed that he caught wind of a $750 million deal being brokered between Sony and Rockstar to secure a 30-day exclusive launch of GTA 6 on the PS5 in a video he uploaded on August 10th. While an exclusive launch on GTA 6 on the PS5 would be a major win for Sony, the price tag attached to this rumor is absolutely ludicrous, especially since it wouldn't even be a PS5 launch title. GTA 6 was reported to be early in development, and Rockstar plans to continue supporting the current version of GTA Online well into 2021. There's absolutely no chance GTA 6 will be released when the PS5 launches during the 2020 holidays meaning Sony wouldn't be able to capitalize on the hype around GTA 6 to get gamers to buy the PS5 at launch instead of the Xbox Series X. To make matters worse for this rumor, a $750 million deal would eviscerate Sony's corporate wallet. Sony's PlayStation business earned $1.15 billion in profits during the first financial quarter of 2020, the company announced during an August 4 earnings report. That was the most that PlayStation has ever earned in the first quarter of a year in Sony's entire history. The alleged $750 million GTA 6 deal will cost Sony 65% of its record-breaking PS profits. And for what? A measly month of exclusivity on a multi-platform game? To put this in perspective, it's estimated that it costs Sony somewhere in the ballpark of $100 million to create The Last of Us Part 2. Spending $750 million on securing a month of GTA 6 exclusivity would cost them more than 7 times the development of TLOU 2. They could instead invest that money in at least 7 big budget AAA games. In other words, this deal is not happening under the terms outlined by Foxy UK Games, but some alternate version with a very different price tag attached seems impossible. The inverse analysis, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and GTA San Andreas all launched on Sony consoles months before they were released on the Xbox and PC. Rockstar launched GTA 4 on the PS3 and Xbox 360 simultaneously, ending Sony's streak of timed exclusivity for the franchise. Industry analyst Michael Pachter told Eurogamer in 2010 that Microsoft had paid Rockstar's parent company Take-Two Interactive $75 million to stop GTA's PS exclusivity. But could Sony try to forge another deal with a GTA creator to pull ahead in the hotly contested next-gen console war? Technically, Microsoft has more money to throw around than Sony does for these kinds of big-budget deals. Plus, with both consoles sorely lacking a monumental launch title, it's becoming incredibly likely that one of the two might try to secure a timed exclusivity of GTA 6 to pull ahead. Could history repeat itself and see GTA 6 release exclusively on the PS5 out of the gate? Or could Microsoft outbid Sony for a timed exclusive launch of GTA 6 on the Series X after the delay of Halo Infinite? We'll need to wait until the announcement of Rockstar's next big open world adventure to be sure. While we're still a ways away from knowing the release of PS5 and the port of GTA 5, everyone is curious to know when Rockstar will announce GTA 6 to the world. As it turns out, Sony may be willing to pay big bucks to have the game appear on the PS5 before any other console. The rumor comes from YouTuber Foxy Games UK, who claims that Sony has reached out to a third-party studio and is willing to dish out a whopping $750 million for a deal with Rockstar. Allegedly, a multi-game deal with one of the world's biggest franchises is coming first to PlayStation 5, he said. If it's legit and it fits, dare we say Grand Theft Auto 6, if true, then forget about console wars. There's no console war, it's a wrap. The number of $750 million doesn't seem too far-fetched when you factor in the fact that Microsoft reportedly once spent $75 million to prevent GTA 4 from being a PS3 exclusive. Given GTA's current success with the fifth installment in GTA Online, the increase doesn't seem out of place, thereby adding a bit of credibility to the rumor. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, click on the videos on screen now or that are linked in the description below. Please be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell to get notified of every video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.